Hello and love us everyone and welcome back to another LucaVision review video where I'm going to be reviewing all of my favourite entrants for the 2019 contest in Tel Aviv which will then eventually make a LucaVision leaderboard where you'll see all of my top picks but Eurovision season is upon us folks! And in this episode of LucaVision, and as you can probably tell by my really bad accent, sorry about that, I'm going to be reviewing Lithuania's entry for the 2019 contest. So we have Juridius with the song Run With The Lions. <laughs> When I first watched this video, you can see my reaction coming out soon on the Eurovision Hub reaction videos. Oh my god, I was pretty much like this the whole way through. It was absolutely amazing. Let's hope the revamp doesn't ruin it, hey? Anyway, let's get cracking. What I really love about the lyrics is that everyone at Eurovision loves a metaphor. Don't we just love a metaphor? Like Fuego, I'm not your toy, for example. And this song is even entitled with a metaphor, Run With The Lions. And what we all love about a metaphor is that it can describe how we feel in a whole new different light and everybody can connect to it in a different way. But what is also great about a metaphor is that it opens up a whole new perspective and whole new meaning. How he's describing that there, every time I hear Run With The Lines now, I'm gonna think of being happy and setting myself free and aiming for freedom. And this song is such an empowerment anthem because it talks about being yourself and doing what makes you happy, which I am all for and I absolutely love. For example, I'm wearing a friggin' Power Rangers t-shirt. Do what you want and what makes you happy. Who cares about what people say? <laughs> Just go with what your heart wants. And I find that very uplifting, and that's what we want at Eurovision. Dare to dream. It just fits the whole vibe, doesn't it? Do what makes you happy. Eurovision makes us all happy, and we don't care who we tell. Also, I love the lyric in there. If you want a voice, just open your mouth. It is so simple, yet so effective. Literally, don't silence yourself. If you want to say something, say it. And I completely agree with it. I love it. The only downside to the lyrics is, I think they can be a little bit too simple and I would like to see a little bit more. There's not a lot of depth there, is there? So in which case, for the lyrics, I'm scoring. An eight. Honestly, I just felt myself connecting so much with that song on the lyrics and I could not not give it an A. I mean, people could say I'm being a bit generous, but I loved it, absolutely loved it. Metaphors are my thing. How many times have I said metaphors in this video? Won't say it again, promise. Right, so next I wanna move on to the voice. I find the voice so good. And in this song, yes, it's a ballad, so he does have a lot of opportunity to show off his voice. But what is great about it is that even in the first verse, you can hear so many different techniques. You hear all the light, all the shade, you hear a softness to his voice, you hear controlled tones, and you hear a falsetto, which is amazing. Here's a little example of some of the different moments, just from the first verse. As we go on through the song, we do see lots of other techniques as well. We also see a couple of belts, and we do see some growls in there, which I really like. I've never really listened out for a growl before. It's only subtle, there's just a little grrr in there, which is really good, which, let's be fair, run with the lions. It's another metaphor. Metaphor. <laughs> Sorry. I also need to mention another vocal moment where, in the chorus, there's like a slight moment where his vocals just go da 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 da. For example, come on, come on, let your feelings out. Come on, come on, let your feelings out. Run wild, run with the lions. You see the bit that goes, let your feelings out. That is so hard to do because you sing and you have to just kind of quickly put your voice up. I think if we had a couple of ad libs towards the end just to really lift the song up just before a big finish, maybe a belt towards the end, and a great big whopping key change. That would be great, wouldn't it? So overall, I'm scoring the voice. Another eight. Okay, I've got to be honest, we do see this sort of thing quite a lot at Eurovision. We do see the whole 
empowerment anthem, a nice power ballad. And I think the thing that is its saving grace is the fact that the song is a M for metaphor. Sorry I said it again. And people can connect with it on that basis. However, I do want to say, this is how a ballad should be done. It is really interesting. I, I was transfixed. I could not take my eyes off of it. And I think there's a lot of stage presence. He doesn't need a lot of production. He had the whole audience under his control. But for originality, I'm scoring him. A six. <laughs> Now the music is so good, oh my god it's so good. There's so many different twists and turns in there. Much like with the vocals when you can hear the light, the dark, the shade, everything. The music does exactly the same. You listen carefully, it sounds like you're listening to different genres of music all matched up into one, which is amazing. And if you listen to the track again and again and again and again, I guarantee you hear something different every time. The song starts off in the first verse, really sophisticated and modern, and then it builds up and gets really dramatic. And then if we just listen to the pre-chorus... Do you hear how unique that is? It builds up the song perfectly, but I do want to say though, slightly disappointed with the chorus, because the music does sound like somebody's manually slowed it down, so it does lag a little bit. I just wish the chorus was lifted up that little bit extra. And then if you listen very closely, the last 10 seconds of the song, you hear some violins. Let me just give you a sneak peek. See what I mean? Love it! I thought that was a great part of the song and a good way to close it. So overall, for the music... A number nine! Yeah! So there we have it in overall Lithuania. I'm scoring the song a great big whopping... 31 out of 40. Yes! Well done, I absolutely loved that song. These entrants just continue to surprise me every time. If you liked that song, please make sure you give this video a great big thumbs up to show everyone that you're supporting Lithuania this year. But also, I would absolutely love to hear all of your comments on the song. And I really want to know what scores you would give them out of 10 down below. I want to know what your leaderboard looks like. And I want to say a massive Iki Grieto. Apologies if I said that terribly wrong. <laughs> your thoughts, they don't matter, don't give me your chatter. In fact, they just matter, my name's in your brain. Now I'm climbing my ladder, it's making you matter. I'm not down and sadder, it drives you insane. I'm not the world's insane.